are, fishing friends. We're out on uh, we're out on Plymouth somewhere. Secret location. Secret location. It's a, it's, it's a real devilish spot. Um, yeah, we're at Devil's Point. It's closed now. You're not allowed to fish here, so it's all closed, and you can't get in here. So don't even try, uh, unless you've got a ladder. Just have a little pan up there, mate. <laughs> Fort so, Knox. So I didn't I didn't open the door. The door is already open, and I just sort of come down and. Yeah, so this is a bit of a send off to Devil's Point, really. Um, it's not, I don't think we've made many videos here, we maybe odd Rass one or whatever. Um, but just have a look at the slab here, guys. So just come around here. So this is why, this is why we've, we've lost it, I'm afraid. So obviously this used to be like a completely flat, nice base. And down there, look, you can see it's all falling away there. And, you know, we know that because the rats are coming out from underneath them out of everywhere so it's a real shame that you know Plymouth Council instead of fixing this they chose to put in this little nice little meditational garden around the corner that's going to be spray painted and urinated on and, and, and whatever else and left to its own devices and, and just left to rot and it will just be destroyed because pretty much like this place eh? that's what that's what people do in Plymouth unfortunately uh, anyway so back to the video so yeah so that's the slab it's um this place is you know it's the best spot in Plymouth. It's, it's the best deep water mark in Plymouth, bar none. You've got 85 foot of water down there, guys. And you know, you can catch conger eel in the day here. It's almost dark down there, yeah? Now, we've all, I mean, we've had decent fish off here over the years. Yeah. Big rays, big conger. Cod. I've had a 10 pound cod off here back in 2000, you know, when I had hair and all that. So yeah, it's a really good spot. And obviously there's mackerel and garfish and all. And all that. You know the tinsel brigade are out here uh, but we've got down here to this morning it's sunday and i've had a gallon of coffee so i am buzzing and it's only what half past 10 or something so yeah trigger fish so today's video we're going to catch a trigger fish down this wall guys and let me tell you like plymouth trigger fish mount wise trigger fish all the way along there you can catch trigger fish richmond walk just around the corner trigger fish Sutton Arbor, in the Arbor, trigger fish. Mill Bay Docks, just over there, right? Trigger fish, out on the end. The triggers are everywhere, right? There are Mediterranean friends, they've come over with the gilt head bream, and now they're growing up, and they're sort of like this size, you know, three, four pounders. So yeah, I've, I've been lucky enough to catch two before, about three or four years ago. Uh, one at Mill Bay, one at Sutton, and it took me, to be honest, five attempts, I think, to get, to get one. But they are really special fish. They've got this trigger that comes up, this spike, um, and they're just they're just mad, like you know. And, and Wingman's filming me today. Say hello. Hello, guys. Thank you very much for coming down on your Sunday, sir. <laughs> um, so Wingman, he hasn't had one, and, and Nathan's here today. He's never had one. So hopefully, between the three of us, uh, we're going to get a trigger, uh, and there will be wrasse down there as well. So as a byproduct or by catch, we're going to get wrasse. So come and have a look at the gear. Right, so I've got I've got my I've got my mullet gear basically. So I've got a 12 foot, you know, really uh, pound and a quarter test rod, the Black Rock all rounder. And if you just come in a little bit closer there, Brett, I've just got a little cone weight on there. Look, with this little small sort of semicircle hook and a little bead. So a little bit of tappage going on there. And today, obviously, we you know we, we're really going down on the hook size. If you notice there, we're not fishing for wrasse. We're trying for a trigger. And these trigger have got quite small mouths and they've got really gnarly teeth now in a couple of years ago when i when i was trying to catch one you get these succession of bites brr, 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 like a little machine gun brr, brr, brr. and then i was using mackerel and you come up and the mackerel skin's there and the flesh is gone and you're like whoa and they are they are really clever fish and also they can even neat through the hook i've had a hook come back and the actual nickel of the hook's gone and it's just about bitten through so they are pretty pretty strong teeth on these bad boys now the bait we're really lucky today because brett's got hold of these nice little prawn here i'll get down here nice little prawn there look so they're little sort of oh here's me rod going over so they're that size yeah so that's like perfect for a trigger fish i reckon so yeah they're you know they're a bit ripe but they'll they'll love them and and as a byproduct we will you know we'll get the odd ras down there maybe a four or five pound we'll just see so yeah, trigger fishing. So all I'm gonna do is, obviously work my way along the wall here, uh, just literally testing out. I mean, 
I'm hoping that they're going to take this on the way down because it's a light Texas cone weight. It's going to really go down slowly. It ain't going to just go bang down to the bottom because it's only a seven gram weight. So I'm just going to sort of like go along the wall because these fish, they, they actually live on the wall, you see? And you've got these big leaves like sea, seaweed sort of stuff growing out from the wall. And what they do is they kind of hide in amongst it. And sometimes, especially around certain harbour, you can look down at certain times and you can see them come out from the wall and they're like this, obviously when they're well, upright, they're like that. But then when they turn on their side, they're like this, you know, they're really big and you can see them down there. So hopefully, yeah, we're going to get one out and uh, yeah, and Brett's going to go down and land it because because he's not going to let Nathan do it. Oh, yeah. Not on your life. Not on your Nelly, sir. So, no. yeah, so, so Nathan might have to take the camera at one point and we'll just see what happens. So hopefully, trigger on. Tight lines, trigger. All right, so there we are. Look, there's, there's a nice little prawn. And I can't really see much because I've got my sunglasses on. But I'm basically going in through the back there like that and threading it on nicely like that. And I'm not going to tie this on at the moment. I'm going to see what happens. So there, there's, the, there's the hook. All right, so let's go, let's do it. Let's see if we can get Mr. Trigger. So one of the reasons why I've got a 12 foot rod today is because obviously we've got a barrier here, a safety barrier. And you know, if I was using my usual lure rod, I'm gonna be like this, you know, struggling with the length. So now I've got a nice 12 foot rod. I'm right out over the zone where I wanna fish, you know, so it's, it's, it's perfect, like, you know. Comfortable position, mate. Yes, nice and safe. Right, so I'm just gonna check me drag. I mean, we've just we've just literally got here, and I think what we'll do is probably ground bait a bit in a minute. So I'm going to try right down this wall here. Keep it close to the wall. I'm just winding up off the bottom now. I'm trying to keep it close to the wall. See how deep it is? Well, it's not that deep, about 20 foot I reckon. Down there, yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen them, seen them all flash down there. Look, it's yeah. all smelt and stuff, smelt and stuff being chased down there, isn't it? Look, loads of flashes down there. Because we are at low tide here, aren't we? We're just after low, so there's not much water here. Uh, it will, it would obviously be better with a bit more water here. But uh, yeah, we've only just started, so we'll see. careful down here on the bottom because it's so gnarly there's there's lots of little bits of structure and things growing up you know like little uh, blobby things and... ill traces oh yeah not to, mention... <laughs> not to mention the three million yards of line that's down there Bites down there, then. Yeah, he's had the bait. Look. So here we go. Look, come back. So I've just come back with a bit of shell there. Look, prawn. 
So yeah, let's. I'll, I'll slowly get him on the feed. Don't worry. There we go. Right. right. Just need to get this done quick, mate. Saw that, mate. Yeah, the fight is fighting. And again, dum dum dum. Took the head, mate. Didn't it? Yeah. So yeah. So I think we might have to switch to plan B. Wrap them. Maybe just use the tails. So let's try. Let's just try. I think it is trigger fish down there because it's like a really strange bite. Boom, 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 boom. So let's now. Try a little tail this time. Tails are the unexpected. Pandora's box, sir. Yes. Right. Let's have this trigger. So here we are, we're just getting into it, look, and I've just had this, it's a, it's a bit of a beast as scorps go. Scorpion fish there, look. Look at the spine on the dude. Look at him underneath, he's like... Obviously you don't want these spines in your hands, guys. But they are quite safe to handle. But what a beautiful fish, look. It's got a face only a mother would love. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a big gob, just like me. <laughs> But yeah, nice one, so we're going to get this trigger in a minute. Don't, no. don't drop that camera, mate. Eh? Um, right, look at me. The numbers at the top? Yes. Right, here we are, look. Bent in. I thought it was a massive trigger, but it's a ras. And I knew he was going to get a ras here today. So wingman's down there with the net. Come on, Sam. Nice one. I honestly thought that was my trigger now. So we'll just keep going, yeah? Yeah. Now, keep, keep running. Let's have a look at this beast. Not a monster, actually. But on this rod, it was very, very nice. Thanks, mate. Oh, he's only a couple of pound, look. Yeah, and they go, mate. I like it. Yeah, so that's on a mullet rod, of course. Not on the, you know, beach caster. Nope. There you go. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Little camo warrior. Yes. Right, carry on. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, mate. Hmm, never find rats there, sir. So here we are, so we're obviously we're trying, still trying for this bloody trigger. And uh, they're being quite annoying, but Brett's just put squid on and the bites are just phenomenal. So I'll show you that now. So I've just got a tentacle on there on a little carp hook, squid tentacle, but they like a little bit more white than that. So just for the uh, purpose of the, this little clip, I shall just scissor off. Quite small actually. Anyway, I'll just scissor off a bit there. And all right, now check this out. Let's 
give me a little work. There you go. Oh, mate. Oh, there you go. Yep, sim. And this will, if nothing else, this is going to illustrate the bites. Down there so you can see it. Right. No lion. Oh, this grass is coming along. Right. Oh. Oh, oh. The grass has just done me as well. Look. Mate, I'll get that up quick before you get in the wall. Hang on, mate. Go on. Ooh, nicely bunched, sir. Squid. Come on, mate. Grass seems to be moved away nicely. Trigger, bro. No bites. <laughs> I don't think they like oasis. Yeah, saw that one. Yeah. There you go, that's a trigger bite there. Five seconds, gone. How infuriating is that, mate? I've got an answer for that in a minute. And the answer to that is lying on the side of the wall here. Probably. So here we are, that's the end of our little uh, trigger adventure. Uh, we've had, we've been murdered with bites, to be honest, and the squids worked really well, but it lasts literally seconds. We've got a few of these little uh, beasties and a few wrasse and, and stuff like that. But you know, we've only had a couple of hours to commit to this today because of the car park and everything. And uh, we will be back for part two. So yeah, one more thing guys, if you enjoy my videos and my channel, do me the honor of just putting a comment or leave a reply to a comment or just a like or just say hi or anything or any questions. Or if there's any questions on there, don't be afraid to reply to them. Every time that you comment on my videos or like them, the, the, the bots in their YouTube, they put, put my, uh, my videos up the up the line if you like so they get to the top so yeah just give us a like comment 
and uh, we'll be back for part two trigger. We'll probably go somewhere else. So see you soon, guys.